In this session, I will introduce one of the most important or the core knowledge of digital logic designs, namely digital logic gates. Uh, the digital logic case is uh, the basic building block for which all the digital electronic circuits, digital systems and microprocessors based system are constructed from. Thus, in order for you to really enjoy the digital logic design, it will require you to try to fully understand and to digest the fundamental concept of this digital logic case. This is due to everything that we'll see later on will actually relate to the how we understand uh, the digital logic gates correctly. Logic gates are the basic building blocks of any digital system. It is an electronic circuit having one or more than one input and usually have one output. Uh, at any moment, the input of a uh, logic gate are either in high condition or in low condition. And the output, based on the input combination, the output also will take the value of 1 or 0 or high or low. As an example here, I create one logic gate which I name X gate, which have two inputs, input one and input two, and one output. The logic gate internally actually is built based on a combination of electronic components such as transistors, diodes and resistors. Here are the seven types of logic gate symbol. As I explained before in the previous slides, logic gates normally have uh, two or more inputs and one output. So in example of X gate, we have a one and two input and one output. And internally, there will be electronic circuits that define the operation of the gates itself. So similarly, AND gates, OR gates, NAND gates, NO gates, and the rest uh, have, in this example, for example, these AND gates have two input A and B, and the output is the AB, or more accurately A and B. The digital systems is then built based on the combination of these logic gates. Normally in one digital devices, such as microprocessors that exist in your televisions or in your mobile phone, it could use millions of these kind of gates. In the previous page, we have looked at the symbol of each logic gates. For example, AND gates, OR gates, NOT gates, and etc. One important thing to realize here is that the symbol alone doesn't tell us the details about the how does the logic gates operate. So in digital logics, we use truth table to show how does the input 
relates to the output. By using truth table, this is an example of truth table of a gate that have two input, which is A input and B input, and has one output Z. So the gate inputs are shown here in the left column of a truth table with all the possible combination. Here is the combination. You still remember the binary numbering system that we learned in earlier chapter. So this combination actually uh, shows the different input combinations that possibly bring by the um, input. And uh, based on the input combination, it will show the output at the right hand column here. All right, here is the first logic gate known as AND gates. This AND gate has two inputs, A and B, and one output. So we can actually name the outputs with uh, another variable. For example, we can name it as a Q equal to A and B. So the symbol here shows the AND gates, but internally, this end gate is built based on these electronic circuits which comprise of a transistor diodes and resistors let's have a look at um, the truth table for two input end gates so the definition of end gate tell us that it will give us a high output which is 1 only if all its inputs are high so if you look at here so this is both are high then the output will be high besides this combination the rest will become a zero output so normally for end gates we use a dot to show the N operation that is A and B. So you can see here, this is the dot here. But most of the time, or in some books, they just omitted this dot, which is, uh, they just write as A and B without the dots in between. Second gate is um, OR gate. Uh, as I explained before, uh, this example shows uh, two input OR gates, A and B inputs, and the output is A or B. Uh, we, we pronounce A or B, not A plus B. Please be careful with this. And for all gates, um, it will give a high output if one or more of the inputs are high. So if any of the inputs are is high, then it will give us high outputs. So the only low output for all gate is when both inputs are low, which is uh, if A equal to zero, and b equal to zero then a or b will become zero here's the simplest uh, gates among the uh, logic gates uh, which we call as a not gate so we have an input a 
and the inverse of a is sometimes we call a bar or a complement that's why you can see uh, on top of a we put one uh, bar to show that uh, it is the inverse of a so sometimes this uh, not gate is called as inverter so the truth table is very simple we have input 1 or 0 and the output will be inverse of the input so if the input is 0 the output will be 1 the next is uh, NAND gates or is known as NOT AND gates if you see here we have AND gate followed by a bubble here so in digital logic symbols the bubbles means not gates or the inverter so uh, we have uh, n and we inverse the output so that's why we have a and b followed by bubble which is the inverter so the output will be uh, a and b inverse so if you look at here the output is uh, totally opposite to N gates so it will give you a uh, high output if any of the inputs are low so if any of the input are low then will give us the high output if both is high then we have a low output This gate is almost similar to the NAND gates, but this time instead of uh, using AND gates, it's a NOT OR, which is you have OR operation followed by uh, inverse or NOT gates. So we have A or B inverse, and the output will be high only if both of the uh, input are low then we have a high output here. We have two special gates. The first one is called as exclusive or, or XOR, which will give us a high output if either, if either but not both of its two inputs are high or only either of the input is high, which is in this case, B is high. A is high but not both not both mean not here are high then the output will be high okay and and circle plus sign okay sorry it should be here uh, it's used to show the exclusive or operation so this is a exclusive or B so the truth table is here to show the uh, relation between input and the output and the last bit I would like to introduce is exclusive no so the symbol is quite different here you have one uh, line to show and you have actually XOR plus the no so um, this uh, exclusive no get circuit does the opposite of XOR so that's the opposite which means it will give low output if either but not both so if any of the output is high in this case B is high and A is high so it will give low outputs so if you look back if you check for uh, your understanding for X or in the previous page it will be opposite which is if any of these input is high then XOR will be uh, give us high output which is one all right that's it for uh, introduction to the uh, digital logic gates thank you